This will make narcissists regret and trigger them to want you back. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. We're so glad you're joining us today. We prepared an insightful discussion for you. The topic is things that will make narcissists regret and trigger them to want you back. We hope this video will provide you with clarity and empowerment. Let's dive right in. Narcissists often have a skewed perception, failing to recognize the worth of others until it's too late. This can manifest as a harsh dismissal where they belittle and make you feel unwanted. It's perplexing how, after pushing you away following a shared relationship, they begin to revalue you. The revaluation generally happens because we, as empaths, are chosen. Not every past connection is revalued by the narcissist, but as empathetic individuals, we stand out. Some may argue that thinking we're superior is narcissistic. However, considering the malicious people in the world, those causing harm without remorse, we indeed stand above. We strive to do our best, filled with love and kindness, and avoiding harm to others. It's unfortunate that we often get intertwined with toxic individuals. The world is filled with narcissistic, toxic people who cause harm and engage in destructive activities. If we, as empaths, abstain from such activities, we indeed stand above. Emphasizing our empathetic abilities after a harsh dismissal can lead to an awakening, a natural progression. Being chosen and empathetic is not a flaw, but a strength. We, as people, are held in higher regard due to our empathetic nature, setting us apart from the rest. While you are embarking on a healing journey and coming to terms with the conclusion of the relationship, the narcissist is observing you from afar. They start to reassess your value, even dwelling on thoughts of you, as you occupy a significant space in their mind. They begin to compare you with their current partner and realize your uniqueness and specialness. Memories of the early days of your relationship resurface, leading them to question how they ended up in their current situation. The narcissist isn't known for introspection, but they do start to think. They recognize they made a wrong move in the game of relationships, as for them, everything is a game. Realizing their blunder, they attempt to devise a way back to you. But this isn't always simple, especially when you are on a healing journey and have decisively closed the door on them. Their obsession with your life intensifies, manifesting as constant checks on your social media, even if you blocked them. They resort to various accounts, even fake profiles, to keep tabs on you. It starts to resemble how friends check in on each other, leading them to fantasize about a reunion that remains unattainable. It's important to note that once you've firmly closed the door, the narcissist experiences a harsh awakening. If you've left any room for them to re-enter your life, they will reassess your value but continue with their current course, knowing they can always return to you. That's why it's crucial to maintain no contact and close all doors. If you must communicate with them, ensure it's not positive. Supply them with nothing but negativity. While closure is sometimes necessary, it's vital not to provide them with any positive reinforcement. What I aim to convey is that sometimes, uttering a few words during the final phase of the relationship can serve as closure. This was the case for me, expressing myself during those last days marked the end of the relationship, providing the closure I needed. Narcissists do reassess your value. You become an unreachable figment of their imagination, something they yearn for but can't touch. They truly desire to have you back. It is crucial, however, to remain strong, spiritually and mentally focused to keep this detestable individual out of your life. Having the proper measures in place, closing the door, bolting, and sealing it shut, denies them access to you and heightens their revaluing process they begin to idolize you. You become unparalleled, the person they regret letting go, and they do harbor such thoughts. If you peruse the comments section, you'll find people who have experienced attempts at reconnection after a decade or even longer. I've heard stories of individuals who had brief encounters with someone and received attempts at reconnection years later. This happens because, as empaths, as chosen ones, our energy is incomparable, and they can't find it anywhere else. Left with no other option, they begin to idolize you in their minds. You become their obsession, someone they keep tabs on through social media. As mentioned earlier, you become their fixation. 
The narcissist in my life recently tried to reach out to me through fake profiles, a topic I've discussed in a video. They seek any remaining attention from you because of your potent presence. Regardless of whether they're contacting you through a fake profile or an unknown number, just hearing your voice is enough for them. They find satisfaction in merely listening to you. They can be strange and peculiar, but it's important to remember that your rareness in this world is what prompts them to reassess your value. The crucial point here is that if you persist in your healing journey and continue to build your value post-relationship, you'll only grow stronger. This is something I and numerous other survivors have experienced. If you're in the early days of recovery, grappling with pain and trauma bonds, know that you will overcome it. You'll begin to rebuild your value and yourself, venturing into new areas of life, perhaps even working in a different country. This was a milestone for me something I wouldn't have achieved if it weren't for the narcissist. Opening new businesses and accomplishing various things enhanced my value, and it will do the same for you. While the narcissist obsesses over the past, when they finally catch up and see your progress, because they're monitoring your social media and other platforms, they'll find you've improved since parting ways with them. This realization inflicts a deep, harsh narcissistic injury. You become better than when you were with them, while they remain the same, altering their identity based on their current partner, pretending to have varied likes and interests. They lack an authentic character of their own, acting like social chameleons. Understand that the reidolization or revaluing that occurs after the discard is a testament to your worth. Even if you haven't heard from the narcissist in a while, know that they're dealing with these thoughts internally. The focus should be on continuing to build your value. As you learn more about the narcissist through these channels and others, you're enhancing your understanding. I spent a substantial amount of time studying and trying to comprehend the behavior of the narcissist. Some channels depict the narcissist as an untouchable, unmatched entity, but my experience told a different story, prompting me to share my perspective on YouTube. I dealt with a narcissist who, despite feigning piety, was anything but. Despite the numerous attempts at reconnection, which I now understand as Hoover's, I knew they regretted their actions. Similar experiences may be happening to you, like receiving calls in the middle of the night. These calls may be happening while they're with their new partner, hence the odd timing. My advice would be to block them completely, change your number if possible, and sever all contact. If you want to inflict a harsh narcissistic injury, that's the course of action to take. I've created a video on how to silence and torment the narcissist if you're interested in learning more. But remember, you hold value. You're special, unique in the eyes of God or the universe, however you choose to perceive it. Among a crowd of a hundred people, you would stand out. Not necessarily because of your appearance or other superficial aspects, but due to your energy. Your energy is unrivaled, and that's the essence of this channel. As empathetic individuals, we possess the ability to connect deeply with people. We even mirror the narcissist, which often triggers the initial discard, a topic I've explored in previous videos. Along with divine intervention, we contribute to the discard. Our ability to engage with people allows us to access their core, and at the core of a narcissist is a deep-seated low self-esteem. While it's not my intention to mock anyone with low self-esteem, it's important to note the contrast between the narcissist's projected image of superiority and their actual self-perception. The discard is the most beautiful thing that could happen because it provides the narcissist with the opportunity to realize what they took for granted. Only after the discard, when they fully revalue and idolize you, do they comprehend what they've lost. This realization typically occurs post-discard or after you've cut them off. An early mention would have been helpful, as the same occurs when you distance yourself due to the pain they've caused. The timing of their awakening varies. If you cut them off, they're jolted into reality immediately. If they're the ones who discarded you, they initially feel liberated and happy. However, they soon recognize the stark difference between you and their new partner, triggering the revaluation process. It's crucial to understand your uniqueness. Appreciate who you are and the abundant blessings bestowed upon you. Count your blessings. The efforts you invested while with the narcissist weren't in vain. They will manifest in unexpected ways in your life, a phenomenon I've experienced personally. When I invested my love into the narcissist, I initially thought it was wasted. 
However, I've seen that love return to my life in various ways, not necessarily in a romantic sense. Because of my previous grave mistake, I've become extremely discerning about who I allow into my life. I caution you against making similar errors due to bouts of loneliness, something we all experience. As you continue on your healing journey, taking time for yourself, you can channel your energy into other areas of your life. This is a potent form of energy, by redirecting it into other aspects like fitness, business, sports, or anything else you're passionate about, you can manifest great things. While you're busy rebuilding yourself, the narcissist can't believe the value you're accruing, far more than they ever anticipated. The goal is to become untouchable. We collectively lowered our standards to be with the narcissist, but now it's time to raise the bar. If we allow anyone into our lives in the future, they must be extraordinary. There's no room for settling, especially when it comes to relationships. It's detrimental to enter a relationship before healing completely. Keep in mind that we are victims of abuse, and healing from such experiences takes time. The healing process isn't linear, it's a series of ups and downs, devoid of constant sunshine and rainbows. The memory of the abusive experience with the narcissist will always be with us. However, it's not our fault. We weren't naive, we merely encountered someone onto whom we poured our love and purity. This very act of offering love and purity becomes the narcissist's undoing, as we evolve into something they can't possess. We evolve into the one thing they can't attain, marking the onset of the revaluation phase. Even if they discarded you, rest assured they're starting to reassess your worth. A few weeks post-discard, particularly if you maintain no contact and remain silent, you'll notice a change. If you've reached out in the past in an attempt to repair and rekindle the relationship, don't fret, it's a common response. They anticipated our attempts because they studied us thoroughly. However, they weren't prepared for our resilience. We bounce back with increased strength, retaining our elasticity. We transform the negative experience into an advantage, shaping us into stronger individuals. Let them lament over losing you and compare you to others, only to find you're unparalleled. They won't find another like you, no matter where they look. Regarding comments about them finding another empath, remember that during the early stages of the relationship, they failed to appreciate the blessing of having an empath in their lives. They were likely still interacting with their ex, using pictures of us to provoke them. They didn't recognize our worth then either. It's only after the relationship ends that they comprehend our true value. As the saying goes, absence makes the heart grow fonder. The more you distance yourself, Focus on your personal development, spiritually, physically, mentally, and progress on your healing journey, the more the revaluation process intensifies. This revaluation ultimately devastates the narcissist as they witness you recover and grow stronger. So, keep going, maintain your faith, trust in the process, and understand that the separation was a divine intervention. The universe intended for you to be free from the torment of the narcissist. Remember, it's never too late. I've heard from a subscriber who shared that their father, after spending 20 to 30 years with a narcissist, found his soulmate in his 70s. They now travel the world together, living happily. Don't see the time spent with the narcissist as wasted, but rather as a period of mental correction. It has provided us with a refined mindset, a more analytical perspective, and a deep understanding of complex situations. Rest assured, wherever the narcissist may be, they are revaluing and re-idolizing you, longing for your return. However, resist the urge to give them a second chance. Thank you all so much for watching. We genuinely hope you found this information valuable and insightful. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel for more discussions like this one. If you're interested in supporting our work, check out the donation link in the description box below. Remember, you're not alone in this journey, and we're here to support you every step of the way. Stay tuned for our next video. Until then, take care, and peace.